in my print jobs, I keep getting uh, artifacts like this pretty much in the same spot in the model, even though I scaled it up. So I am not sure what's happening there. Um, it sounds to me like the extruder is skipping while it's printing, but I hear it skipping even when it's like on the start of this print, like way down here. So I don't know, uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, and I'm not sure how to troubleshoot that. So after unsuccessfully printing this small model and this larger model, uh, and having the filament jam every so often, I was told that I should try a different filament, so I tried this. Um, at the 3D printing meetup, they said that this filament in particular gave them problems, and the materials scientist said try using a different filament, a uh, plain filament. So I, I printed these two in blue, and they came out fine, and then I ran out of blue, so I printed in black, and that also came out fine. So now I'm going to try uh, something else that the materials scientist suggested. She said to do a uh, temperature tower as a perfect cylinder. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to print a perfect cylinder and I'm going to decrease. She didn't say this part, but I think the idea is to decrease the temperature until uh, I can print, but at the lowest temperature that I can print. And then I won't have as many problems with the filament getting stuck in the cold end because it expanded too much because it was too hot. So thanks everybody for your help. It's printing the cylinder now and it will do every 10 degrees it will go down, uh, or sorry, every 10 uh, millimeters it will go down in two degree increments. It's starting off at 210. Um, oh, but it won't do the first uh, increment until it's at 20 uh, millimeters high. Um, I didn't want to mess with the first few 10 millimeters because, I don't know, maybe it does something different at the very beginning. Um, the temperature has stabilized at 210 and it will go down all the way to 196. I expect it to cut off before it actually gets all the way up to 100 uh, millimeters tall. But, uh, uh, oh, yeah, something interesting I noticed is I tried to do vase mode uh, twice, so this is the first one that I did, and let's see if I can find it there. That seam right there, uh, I initially tried to make a shape that had, that was just one uh, layer thick, or one uh, perimeter thick, but then I tried um, making a solid shape and letting the slicer do it. Uh, and it looks like that is a much better option, so it gradually increases the Z rather than um, increasing, doing a loop and then increasing the Z and then doing another loop and then increasing the Z, leaving behind this this seam right here. There, there's no seam. The seam used to be right where the shiny spot is, but it's not there anymore. So, yeah. Surprisingly, the whole thing printed. Uh, even though it went down to like one, uh, 180 degrees Celsius. So you can see the first 20 millimeters here uh, are a little bit shinier. Maybe you can see that, I don't know. Come on, focus, there we go. First 20 millimeters are a little bit shinier, and then after that it's kind of duller. I am surprised, it got down to 182 all the way for the last 10 millimeters. You can kind of see 10 millimeter jumps in uh, the shade or the, I don't know exactly what to call that, but like you can kind of see where the temperatures change. Um, so I can print much colder than I thought. And I think there's something going on here that uh, in, in an actual normal print, I won't be able to go that low. There's no retractions. There's no speeding up or slowing down. So... Uh, I guess I'll try a normal print and see how low I can go. I'll just try a normal print at a bunch of different temperatures. All right, it just finished and it totally looks awesome. Uh, it looks like it even did the little details here, the little bumps where the windows are going to be. Uh, so yeah, this looks great. Um, one thing that looks a little bit weird is down here at the very bottom, uh, the shininess is different, and it seems to correlate with this feature right here. 
Uh, I wonder if that has something to do with how long the stuff is in the nozzle. And then there's uh, the uh, this part right here. Um, you can't see it from the outside, but internally there's uh, this and this are two different parts. Um, and uh, at least in the, the STLs and they are sliced as one part, but you, there's still an internal structure right there. And so I can see two little bands. I don't know if that comes through on the video at all. Um, so yeah, something about how long the filament sits in the nozzle. Um, cool. So it's working. That's so awesome. Thank you to the Silicon Valley 3D printing meetup. Uh, they helped out. So I've printed at a lower temperature, 205, and I've also printed with no infill. Uh, and I was able to actually print this model. Let's see. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's about to break apart. That's awesome. Oh yeah, I uh, <laughs> forgot to uh, do support material under there. But uh, no support material on that. That overhang is pretty pretty substantial and it's still no overhang and it's still printed just fine. Or sorry, no, no support material and it printed just fine. Same here. So that's pretty awesome.